Hey guys, welcome to the Beyond Paleo presentation. I'm going to keep this pretty cash, so if I trip up, I'll probably just keep recording. Um, this is for anybody looking to gain muscle mass. At CrossFit by Design, we talk a lot about paleo for general health and supporting your workouts, but don't usually go too deep into the weeds on how to structure your meals for muscle mass. So this is nothing that I've just pulled out of thin air. It's something taken from the Barbell Shrug Lads, which I personally have seen success with. Um, so let's get into it. At this point, we're just going to assume that you've already tried to come up with a plan to gain muscle mass and, it's, and it hasn't worked. Um, some of the reasons, or some of the more common reasons are getting fat, so fear of getting fat. So you sit down to a big meal and you sort of stop eating because you're like, oh, I don't want to get fat. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be as ripped. Um, I, sh I shouldn't finish this meal. Uh, so you're not going to get enough uh, calories in to support your lean muscle growth. Uh, in a lot of ways, you can end up going backwards if you don't have a enough food. So you throw out your energy balance. We won't get too deep into the weeds on that one, but try and cut out that fear of you know getting fat. You're doing the work. If you're watching this presentation, you're on a structured program at CrossFit by Design, so you need to be eating enough to support that program and support lean muscle growth. Uh, not eating enough high quality, clean foods. So yeah, you work out a lot. It's not a license to eat shit though. So uh, your body doesn't respond the same way to different foods, which I'm sure most of you know. So you need to keep that in mind. Uh, I'll cover off on what the foods are that you want to eat in the presentation in the next few slides. No meal timing. Um, that kind of goes in with the um, no plan or no model. So meal timing, talking about uh, post-workout nutrition mostly when it comes to this presentation. Not eating enough food, that's kind of enough said, so like it uh, goes hand in hand with getting fat, just in general, not eating enough food. So skipping meals is a big one too. I know we're all busy, but skipping meals certainly isn't the answer. Um, Non-specific program, so that just comes down to a workout program, but again, if you're watching this, it's because you're on a program at CrossFit by Design, so that's not an issue. Um, if you do have an issue with your program, and you think that that is one of your pitfalls, then hit me up and we'll discuss it. Not enough sleep. Um, this is a big deal and matters a lot more than you think. And it's definitely something that you can optimize. But at the end of the day, 2 plus 2 always equals 4. You need at least 8 hours sleep at a minimum. And there are ways to sort of optimize that. But at the end of the day, if you're not getting that, it's definitely going to affect your program and gaining lean muscle mass. Okay, so first up, what is paleo? Uh, the basic model you guys would have heard me say plenty of times before is meat, veggies, nuts, seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar, uh, and no wheat. So if you eat like this, this is a great way to support your normal CrossFit workouts, uh, and you will gain lean muscle mass this way, but there are easier slash faster ways to get there. So I've put this little picture up here just to give you an idea. You can pause the video here and go over it. But um, from here, we will move on. Okay, so here's what you're looking at for basic paleo nutrition for fat loss. You've got your meat or your protein, which is just lean and varied, healthy fats, nuts, seeds, avocado, and fish oil are easy go-tos. And then your veggies and your fruit. Uh, so you're looking at a good variation of meat, fats, and then your carbohydrates. Uh, along with this, you would have a drink, obviously. Most paleo meals, you would just, you go to would be water. Um, yep, that's not gonna support a lot of lean muscle growth, but still at this stage, we're just looking at what is basic paleo nutrition. As far as meal size goes, you're looking to get 80% full. So if you think about that, when we talk about our workouts and we talk about our rate of perceived exertion and how hard you want to go in your workout, you know how it feels. So same thing applies to when you're eating. You know how full you are. You would just eat till you're about 80% full. 
All right, so we got some examples here of basic paleo nutrition. We're still not into the muscle gaining side of things yet, but again, just to give you that base, here's an example. So this first picture here, steak, veg, egg. So steak, which was cooked in a um, coconut oil, so you got protein and fat. Some veg here, carbohydrate, and then your egg is actually a mixture of um, fat and protein. So you're sort of getting a little bit of both, best of both worlds there. Uh, this other meal here, again, just a nice lean paleo meal, salmon, avocado, veg. So protein, fat, carbohydrate, um, and then fish is also good too because you've got your omega-3s in there, which are just those healthy fats. Um, but yeah, just a good example of some basic paleo meals. Okay. So let's get into the changes you need to make for gaining muscle. Uh, you've got your meals broken up into two categories here. Most of the time meals and your after workouts or your post workout meal. So if we go back real quick to the basic paleo model, and you can see you've got protein, fat, carbohydrate. For gaining muscle, you just divide it into thirds. So you've got protein, in the form of a lean and varied meat. Your fat, which is another third, as we discussed, avocados, omega-3s in the form of fish oil. Uh, you can cook your meat in uh, coconut oil. That kind of gets old because then everything tastes like coconut, but it's an option. Um, nuts and seeds also, don't be afraid to add them into your meal. And then your veggies, um, which are, yeah, veggies, man. Uh, and then your post-workout meal. You got your meat, lean and varied, and then your carbs. We're not going to get into a post-workout shake at this stage, but if you're on a program, chances are I would have already spoken to you about this and we'll get a presentation going for that one anyway. But at this stage, this is sort of the meal you have once you get home. Um, so within a couple of hours of completing your workout. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's get a little deeper in the weeds on our most of the time meal. So this meal, while it is a bigger meal, it still fits the paleo model. So this isn't just a pizza with some meat on it and some avocado. It still fits exactly everything we went over or everything we've been talking about so far. So your meat, veggies, nuts, seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar, whole clean foods. Um, you're looking at more of a large serving now though. So back to that example of eating to 80%, you're gonna now eat until you're full. Um, four to five large meals a day. So four to five times a day, you're eating till you're completely full. These are uh, calorie dense meals. So basically what I mean by that is you wanna to start to add in, as far as your veggies go, some more calorically dense, starchy vegetables. Um, so instead of things like spinach and kale, you're gonna add things like potatoes and root vegetables. You still have your greens, but you're trying to get um, just those denser carbohydrates with your veggies rather than those um, just leafy greens kind of thing. Um, so when it comes to that, your overall veg will be less because they are denser. And then you've got your meat, same as what we'd already discussed, and then a little more fat. Um, so this is where most people sort of struggle, um, but you need to just focus on this a little bit more. But again, it's just thirds. So regardless of what you're making, um, it still needs to have that element of fat to it. And easy ways to do that are just nuts and seeds or cook your meat in a fat or something like that. When it comes to your drink, now you need to think about not having water all the time. Like, yeah, obviously you still need to drink water, but you need to start to get a, a calorically dense drink in now. So uh, a good go-to is milk if you're just for your all the time meals. And then we'll talk about um, post-workout drinks in a second. But yeah, try not to just have water all the time. All right, guys. So here's some examples of what I'm talking about. Um, and this first one here, this is a good idea of how big the meal should be as well. Um, so you've got your meat 
in the form of chicken or your protein here. And then a good amount of fat with, uh, this is actually your carbohydrate here. So you get a little bit more um, zucchini with a um, avocado sort of just mashed up with some olive oil. So a good amount of fat, um, good amount of protein, and you've still got the veggies in there, obviously a little bit more on top, um, your tomatoes and that as well. So that that gives you a good idea of, as, as to the size. I mean, if you can't, you know, smash all that into your head, that's no big deal, but you're actually, you're looking to get a bigger meal now. Uh, another good example too, which is, I can't seem to find a good place in Bendigo, but if you can, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> the strange thing for me is as I go to Swan Hill, so as I go further inland, the sushi gets better, which is a bit weird. But this is a good go-to here. This is uh, sashimi. It's basically just raw fish. So you've got your protein and salmon and raw fish and stuff like that contains a lot of omega-3s. Um, so you're covering off straight away on your protein and your fat. And then there's not much in the way of carbohydrate just here, but there is a little bit. Uh, and you've also got like a little bit of cucumber and stuff back here too. But this is like a sort of a cabbage. Not a whole lot of carbohydrate, but still not a bad example of the kind of meals that we're talking about for your most of the time meals. Okay, so outside of your most of the time meals, you've got your post-workout meals. A little bit more simple in its structure in that it's just meat and carbohydrates or protein and carbohydrates. So this is what's gonna promote muscle growth and recovery. Uh, this should be your biggest meal of the day. So I know it's said that like uh, a lot of people bang on about breakfast being the biggest and most important meal of the day, but for what you want, which is lean muscle growth, this will be the biggest meal of the day. You will eat to 100%. You'll have no veg like we talked about earlier in the form of like leafy greens and stuff like that. But what you will have is half meat and then half dense starchy carbohydrates. So back to your rice and potatoes and things like that. Uh, and then with that, you'll have your milk, juice or shake. So you can have... Um, a juice or shake at this stage because a juice which is ordinarily something you wouldn't drink because of its sugar content that's that's almost kind of what we're after at this stage too because sugar is more carbohydrate so feel free to have something like that post workout um, your shake can include um, like your post workout shake but we'll cover off in a second you would have already had that this is kind of the meal you have once you get home um, so yeah, simple. There's an example on the next page. So we'll just go straight to that guy. Okay, so here's your meal timings. Just quickly, here's an example of the meal I was talking about before. Your big ass steak, and then your dense carbohydrate, and then if you want, there's like some sour cream in there. That, again, to have a little bit of fat in there is no big deal, but you wanna mostly get protein, carbohydrate. So outside of that, here is a rough template uh, as to how you should structure your meals. Um, and this is under the assumption that you're kind of completing your workout after school or after work. Um, so you've got your regular meal in the morning at 06. At 09, you have another regular meal. 12 o'clock, you've got another regular meal. And then again, it starts to get a little... Um, you know, it's hard for me to give you a structure if I'm not sure what time you're coming in, but first four meals are regular meals, and then you have your workout, you know, between 15 and 1700, and then after your workout, you've got your post-workout shake, and then once you've got your, once you've got home, you got your post-workout meal, which we just covered off on then. All right, so that is the basic structure overall of how you want to um, set your meals out for lean muscle growth. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to hit me up. But for the most part, if you follow this, you will be sweet. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Catch you guys later.